What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at 20 pieces of equipment coming with the new Cavernalyn and Vicon Equipment Pack DLC, which will be released to the public on Tuesday, June 16th, 2020 on all platforms, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Mac. Giants have been very kind and offered me early access to the DLC to show you everything coming with it and the customization for every piece of equipment. So let's check it out. First up today, we have the Gavernland Eye Plow. This is very, very interesting because it comes with a side Paku mat or a cultivator as it works here in Farming Simulator 19. This is a really, really neat piece of equipment. So let's jump in, let's check it out, and let's customize one of these. Well, where are you going to find this? This is going to be found in tools and in plows. And it's going to be one of the very first things that you see right here, the 2500S I plow. You're going to need at least 165 horsepower to power this as a 2.5 meter working width at 7 miles per hour. Or you can double that with the Paco mat. The Paco mat's gonna cost you $8,000. It just adds on to the side. You cannot take it off once you put it on, but you can customize it to, you know, put it on and off, which is fine. Um, this is gonna cost you $44,000 altogether, or cost you about $36,000 just with the plow. Now, do keep in mind that this requires a lot of power for the small working width. So if you're gonna use this, I highly recommend get the Paco mat. So as far as that goes, that is it. Now, let's jump in here because I'm going to show you how to run this thing. Whenever you get it, it's going to come like this. However, you can fold it. What that's going to do is it's going to bring the pack mat in and then it's going to raise it just like so and just like that. So you do get a wheel in the back that's going to help with uh, transporting from point A to point B, all that good stuff. So you can get down the uh, down your road and you don't have to worry. This is kind of like a trailed plow. So it's not something that hooks up just by three point and then you run with it. This is kind of like a trailer. So think of it like that. Now we can unfold. So you cannot lower while it's folded. So you will have to fold this up. You can see there it goes just like so. And then you can also flip this as well. So if you guys want to flip it, do that kind of thing, you could take that as well. So we're going to take it and we are going to turn the plow and you can see the animation of the turn looks really good here. Tell you what, Giants did a fantastic job with this. And then we can also deactivate the packer. So we can move that out of the way completely. So now we can just use the plow as a plow without having to worry about having the pack -a mat in there. And if you want to activate it while you're going, you can easily do that too. I think this is one of the coolest things in the game. And this is going to be awesome. Next up, we have the Cavernalyn Enduro Pro 5000F Cultivator. Just like everything coming with this DLC, detail. Detail, detail, detail. The attention to detail is absolutely phenomenal with this. Absolutely incredible. The guys have done a fantastic job. Let's check this out. So let's go into tools and let's go into cultivators. We're going to find this right after the Borgo stuff. If you've got it installed, boom, right here it is as a 240 horsepower requirement, five meter working width at nine miles per hour. It's gonna cost you $37,500. It is run with a three point, so no trailer attachment or anything like that. This is it in its folded state, and then you can unfold it just like this. Now, with this, you will need a weight to, uh, to bring this along with you, and it tells you exactly which weight to use. That's gonna be the SB 1600 so if we go over into weights you can see we go through the sb 1600 this is the weight that is going to pair perfectly with this cultivator and we do have a second cultivator releasing with this as well this is the cavernland turbo 8000 t again this is going to be found in cultivators so if we go into tools and we go into cultivators it's going to be right beside the previously mentioned one boom right here it is 400 horsepower required, 7.7 .7 meter working width at nine miles per hour. So it's not crazy large. Uh, you will need quite a bit of horsepower to run this bad boy. But again, detail, detail, detail. This is more, th these are the most detailed pieces of machinery that I have ever seen at Farming Simulator. Next up, we have the Cavernland E-Drill Maxi Cedar. This 
just like before everything looks really really good this is it in its uh open state here you can see we will need a three point to run this so let's go in and let's check this out let's go into tools and let's go into cedars and we're going to go past the borgo stuff into right here 2000 liter tank capacity 130 horsepower required to run it three meter working width at nine miles per hour no customization thirty four thousand five hundred dollars to purchase this if you want to do it it will run uh, wheat barley oats canola soybeans cover crop and grass and the weight that you're going to want to use with this is the sb 700 this does seed only not fertilizer so just keep that in mind there you go we also have uh these guys right here i can't remember what the uh, line creators i can't even remember what they're called i feel bad next we've got two pieces of equipment that are paired together so in the front on the left hand side you're going to see the df2 front hopper and in the back back here we have the df2 ngs 101 f35 that is that piece right there they are both connected with hoses the hoses do not exist unless you have both pieces of equipment hooked up at the same time so keep that in mind you're going to need to know that otherwise very cool by their own but you're going to need to use that front uh front tank along with this so let's go in and let's check this out let's go into tools and let's jump into cedars and in here's where we're going to find everything first is the nf2 ngs 101 let's take a look at this real quick fifty two thousand dollars this is going to do all your normal crops so wheat barley oats canola soybeans cover crop and grass six meter working width at nine miles per hour 260 horsepower required for this and you can see how the hoses just kind of sit there and hang open now one thing to keep in mind this doesn't hold anything doesn't hold seed doesn't hold fertilizer you will need like i mentioned before the front tank to run this speaking of the front tank here it is 2000 liter capacity so you have 2000 liter seed capacity with both of these it only does seed so no fertilizer used with this and that's it <laughs> sixteen thousand four hundred dollars very straightforward very easy to use these work just like some of the stuff in game so you won't have to worry about learning new controls or anything like that we've got a couple more cedars for you next is the cavernland dg2 12,000 cedar this is a big big boy right here very good looking cedar uh, it does have the uh, ridge markers i believe that's what that's called ridge markers does have that also drive laners so you can in, you can uh turn on those drive laners if you really want to this just like before no fertilizer all seed so let's jump in and check it out let's go into tools and let's go into cedars it's going to be right past everything that we've talked about so far boom right here no customization it is what it is for one hundred and thirty-eight thousand five hundred dollars hold six thousand liters of seed again seed only not fertilizer does wheat barley oats canola soybeans cover crop and grass has a 230 horsepower requirement 12 meter working width at 11 miles per hour otherwise it's just a basic cedar at the end of the day but you could do drive lanes and you could do ridge markers with this as well which is really nice next we have something fairly unique not only that we have two versions of this which is really really neat first is the Vernland optima rs planter this is a normal planter so it does all your standard stuff plus it will also do canola as well so if you guys like doing canola or anything like that this will run that as well this might be one of the only planters that will actually do canola which is really really cool so let's jump in and check it out let's go into tools and in planters then we're gonna find it right here so again as mentioned before we will do corn soybeans sunflowers root crops so it will do your uh your sugar beet as well also do cotton and it will do canola now so do seed and fertilizer so we'll do both of those things which is very nice 2720 so 2720 liters of seed and fertilizer combined so we'll do seed we'll do fertilizer so do both of those very very good 180 horsepower is required to run this nine meter working with at nine miles per hour cost sixty nine thousand dollars you can see it's got a ton of wheels on here why has it got so many wheels it's got tons of wheels because it is transported long ways it's not transported uh back and forth <laughs> like you would a normal cedar doesn't fold up it's a long cedar to start with now if we uh loosen up there if we unfold let's go over here and we're gonna back in just like you would on well the way you would expect to back in boom right there now when we do that we can unfold the cedar which is basically 
folding the cedar. That's going to bring everything on the back side and the front side in. So now it's running just like a normal cedar would be. You can lower it, you can turn it on, select your seed, do your ridge marker, you can open the cover, all that good stuff. This is a really, really, like really cool piece of equipment. Uh, I, it, it, yep, sure is. <laughs> Not only that, we actually have two versions of this. And that next one is right here, the Gavernlin Monopile E-Drive 224 Planter. Now this one's interesting because it, uh, well, it doesn't hold a lot, which is kind of surprising. So it only holds like a thousand liters of seed and they're all stored in these little itty bitty uh, cards right here. So let's jump in, let's check it out and let's go into the store. Let's go to tools, let's go to planters. And right here it is, the Monopile E-Drive 224 for $79,500. This will do your basic planter crop. So your corn, sunflower, soybeans, uh, do your root crops. So it will also do your sugar beet and it will do your cotton as well. 145 horsepower is required, 1,000 liter capacity only. So do keep that in mind. 145 horsepower required, like I mentioned, 12 meter spread at nine miles per hour. Otherwise, it is what it is. It works exactly the same. You transport it the exact same way, it transports long ways. Whenever you get to the field, drop it, come and grab it with a three point, fold it up, and then use it just like a normal cedar. Moving into fertilizers. First up, we've got a pair of, sp of sprayers. The front, we have a front tank, the Extra 11 Comfort. And then on the back, we have the iXter B1 or B18 back here. This has a lot of customization and I can't wait to show you all of that. Not only that, we also have some things right here that could show you how much is in there and how much is left. I'm not sure if we have one on the front tank or not. I'm not seeing one anywhere. You guys see it, let me know. But you know what? Let's go in and check these out. Let's go into tools and in crop protection. And then here's where we're gonna find them. First, let's start with the front tank. Right here it is, 1100 liters. Hey, right there it is, right there. You can see from the front, if you're in your tractor with this raised up, how much is left in the front without looking down. Some of you guys like to farm without your HUD turned on. If you're on PC, I am one of those people. I love working without the HUD, but the problem is, I always need to know how much seed, how much fertilizer do I have, how much, you know, how much stuff do I have left? This helps me out with that a lot. It's going to cost you 6,000 bucks, holds 1,100 liters of solid, or, uh, liquid fertilizer and herbicides. So do keep that in mind. And it works perfectly with this bad boy right here. This is the iXter B18, it holds 1,800 liters of uh, liquid fertilizer and herbicide. It has an 18 meter spread, but we can increase that and a working speed of seven miles per hour. Now with this, we have 18 meters, we have 24 meters, 28 meters. So three different things to choose from there, 18, 24, and 28. So whichever one you like there, go for that. As far as stuff that's in game, we've got a 21 and a 24. So this right here now is the largest uh, three point mounted sprayer that we have in the game. Uh, all the way up, it's gonna cost you $41,000, so just keep that in mind. We do have a trailed spreader that comes with this as well, the Cavernland Eye Extract T4. This thing, <laughs> this thing's a beast and a half. I just wanna jump in, I wanna show you guys this right now. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna go right beside everything, boom, right here it is. This holds 4,600 liters, so not a whole lot, but it does hold quite a bit. Um, has an 18 meter spread, but we can increase that. I'm going to show you at seven miles per hour. Wheels. We actually have a wheel set up for this. We have narrow tires and standard. So I know some of you guys don't like running uh, running a uh, narrow tire. Some of you guys just want to run a standard tire. Maybe you don't have crop protect or uh, crop destruction on. Maybe you spray super early. You do solid fertilizer uh, onto the crop. Farm sim, you can do pretty much whatever you want. This gives you that option, and I think this should be a standard option from now on going forward. All sprayers should be able to have these two wheel options right here. Maybe even a wide tire, some T4s, you know, something like that. Working with, let's check this out. So we have 18 meters, 24 meters, 28 meters. So now we're up to our mounted sprayer, 32, 36. 40 18 <laughs> so look how much extra arm is on here from the 18 meter up to the 40 meter so we can more than double how wide this is now keep in mind 
only 4,600 liters regardless of your working with, but it is really phenomenal to see the fact that we could do this. I think this is super cool having a 40 meter spray at 4,600 liters with big tires it's all I've ever wanted. The last fertilizer that we've got coming with this DLC is the Kvernlin Extra TLX Geo Spread. Now, this right here, I think, is one of the two pieces of equipment in this DLC that pretty much pays for itself. This right here adds something to the game that all platforms do not have. This adds something completely new and completely different to the game that you are going to want. So let's check it out let's go into tools let's go into fertilizer technology and boom right here it is now one thing to keep in mind this only does solid fertilizer it does not do um lime so that's one thing to keep in mind holds 3900 liters so it holds quite a bit especially in comparison with uh the other mounted one the kunin game it holds only 3200 this 39 we check it out has a 24 meter spread at 12 miles per hour okay pretty standard stuff there twenty four thousand five hundred dollars again very very standard however this has a trick up its sleeve i'm gonna cut my help window on because i want to show you this change working width we're at 24 meters right now 28 32 36 40 45 you can run 45 meter spread with this doing solid fertilizer. Why would you not want to do that? That is absolutely incredible. I thought maybe it was going to have a smaller one. I knew it was going to do 24 all the way up to 45. Um, but I was thinking, well, maybe it'll do 12, something like that. But we have a convertlin in, in game that does 12. So we can do smaller if we want. This, nah, this helps us do larger of course we can lower turn it on uh, open the cover so we can open the cover as well very good looking animations right through there um yeah 45 meter spread on a solid fertilizer did you ever think we'd see it well get this because we've got it moving into mowers we've got three different mowers we have a front a rear and then we have a trailed mower first up let's take a look at the front and rear mowers so we have the vicon or cavernland uh, which i have everything branded as cavernland these can be changed from vicon to cavernland the extra 732 ft and the extra 7100 ft or uh, t rather not ft these are super cool and and i'll explain the, the front mower just kind of does its thing but the back mower is it's it's the it's the thing it's yep let's let's just check it out let's go into mowers and we're gonna find this stuff right here first up we have the vicon extra 732 ft also known as the cavernland 3 th or 3332 ft which is the version that we've have shown um this changes up so it changes the red color also adds a different skirt around as well so if you like the vicon look go with the vicon look totally cool your cavernland Go with Cavernland. There you go. It's not going to cost you anything extra. $21,200 regardless. 80 horsepower required. 3.2 meter working with at 13 miles per hour. This is where it gets fun. Because this right here is the Vicon Extra 7100T. Also known as the Cavernland 53100MT. So you can do that as well. We're going to be showing off the Cavernland version today. As far as design goes, right here... You see plus 20,000 or Vario, Vario BX, Vario B. So this right here is just your standard mowers in the back. However, if you want to move stuff left, right, center, this is the way you're going to want to run it right here. The Vario BX. Uh, it's actually not that bad as far as in-game pricing goes. Uh, base price, 55,000. With this, 20,000. Yes, quite a bit, but $75,000 total. And again, beautiful this gives us the animation for all of this we do have some stuff that will do similar things not exactly like this but we do have some things that will do similar but they don't have the animation that this does this is absolutely beautiful so if we move over to our back i uh, may actually want to move this tractor forward just a little bit because we're going to be moving around a bit so you can see back here we have fold mower lift mower turn on that kind of thing 
and then toggle mode. That's what we want. So we're going to go into toggle mode and I'm just going to hit left. So now we have swath drop. So you saw those go straight down. Then we have left swath, which is going to bring the left swath into the center, join the front and then the rear mower right here. Well, that one on the right is just going to do its thing. Then we can swap so we could swap those out. We can do both just like so. How cool is that? That is so cool. <laughs> I love that. I love that so, so much. The fact that we've actually got something like that in game now that we can do super awesome and super incredible. We do get another mower with this as well. The Gvernland 4140L. This is the trailed mower that I spoke about. So let's jump in and let's check it out. Let's go into tools and let's go into mowers. And it's going to be right after the ones that we've seen previously. This is needs a 85 horsepower to run. You can also run this with the Gvernalin front mower and you can run this to the side and run a double swath if you want to. Four meters spread at 13 miles per hour. Nothing crazy or special there, but it's the fact that we've got an actual real licensed Gvernalin one now. Total price is going to be $20,000. $300 for this. You cannot change this to Vicon, so do know that before you start moving stuff around. Unlike these, where you can run a Kvernlin if you would like, this is only Kvernlin. Next mod coming with this DLC pack is the Kvernlin 85112 Tether. We've got a brand new Tether coming with this, and here it is right here in its unfolded state, sitting on the ground. Very good looking stuff right here. One thing I really like is that when it's unfolded, we get these areas right here. Look at that. Look at the pin in there. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that. The, maybe it's just me. <laughs> but you can see how it's actually got the uh, the cotter pin in there and everything. That is super cool. And again, around towards the front, we've got the pins in that kind of thing. Super, super neat. So let's jump in and let's customize one of these or lack thereof. Boom, right here it is. Again, no customization through here. 90 horsepower required, 11.2 meter working width, so it is quite large at 11 miles per hour. As far as comparatively speaking goes, the Coon is probably, uh, well, maybe Coon Ponge or something like that. This does require more power than both of those, but come on. The, de <laughs> the detail of this guy is incredible. This is beautiful. This is an absolutely beautiful mod. Price is going to be $24,500. We already have one. Not going to buy another one. There you go. Also works with the SB700 weight, if you're curious what what uh, pairs with this. Three more pieces to go. Next up, we have the Vicon Index 1304 Pro. This is a big, big windrow. This is a very massive windrow. So let's jump in and let's check it out. Let's go into tools and let's jump into windrows. And right here, we're going to find it, the Index 1304 Pro. Boom, right here. This will require 110 horsepower as a 12.5 meter working width at 11 miles per hour. And we can change this up. So we have Vicon and we also have Gvernalin as well. So if you want to change it up, go for it. This goes from the 1304 Pro all the way to the Gvernalin 95130C. So if you guys are curious what the numbers are there, something like that. We got T404s, what up? And then this is going to cost you $52,500 regardless of what you do. Very cool. I'm digging this. This looks really, really nice. This does run with a three-point hitch, and it folds up very nicely. Your next to last mod coming with this DLC pack is going to be the Cavernlin 7850 in baling technology. This is a bale wrapper, and it will also plop the bales on their side. So I know there's an issue with bales. Sometimes when you're wrapping them, or, or even when they're coming out of a round baler, they pop out, and then they just take off. <laughs> there's some maps where they just go... This right here, it doesn't go. It is very, very nice. Also, the bell wrap right here, this is just for show. Um, this does not work with the um, the bell wrap that came with the previous DLC. Nothing like that. So let's jump in and check it out. Let's go into tools. Let's go into bailing technology. And in here, we're going to find it once we get past all of our other DLC stuff. Here it is, the 7850. Foil color can be changed. So we can go from white to black pink and green no cost to you there those are all free changes wrapper design we have standard and with bell on end turner now this is going to cost you two thousand dollars in game but it is extremely worth it what it's going to do is once the bale is done being wrapped it's going to plop it out the back and that's going to stick it on its end uh, which is very very nice we also have Gvernlin or Vicon, which is nice. This is one of the four pieces of equipment that can be changed. So that is very, very cool. 
I dig this. I really like this. This is really neat. Um, price is going to be 24000 or 22000 depending on what you do, and it will run round bales. And the last piece of equipment coming with this DLC pack, and the thing that I think is mo worth the most, so this and the fertilizer spreader alone are worth this DLC's weight in gold to me. This is the Vicon Fast Belt, or the Kvernland Fast Belt, either one, they're both the same name. This is a non-stop round baler. It will do uh, round silage bales, and you can just keep on going. You can do three things at once. So you could start wrapping a smaller bale, then it plops out to a larger bale section right here, but this keeps going, <laughs> and then when the large bale's done, it plops it out to right here. How cool is that? That is so cool. Oh my gosh, let's go check it out. Let's go, <laughs> let's go customize one of these. Let's go into baling technology. And here it is, the fast bell. It ain't cheap though. Better get ready. A hundred, hundred hundred and ten thousand dollars for this baler right here. But this will be the last round baler that you will ever need. Foil color can be changed from white to black, pink, and green. So we do have all of those there. Brands, we have Vicon and we have Kvernland. So we have both of those as well. Wheel brands, we have the Trailborg and the Michelins, but those are T404s. Why would you want anything different? They're beautiful and they're just standard tires. So regardless of what tire you put on there, um, the wheel brand, whenever you change over to Michelin, it is gonna cost you an extra 300 bucks. So keep that in mind. So 110,000 or 110,300, depending on what you've got going on. So we'll do 4,000 liter round bells, 150 horsepower is required, and it works at 11 miles per hour. Well guys, that is going to do it for today for our first look at the Gvernlin and Vicon Equipment Pack DLC releasing on Tuesday, June 16th, 2020, Farming Simulator 19 on all platforms. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the GoHand fam, make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I will be going into more detail in the next few days into this DLC, so make sure you stay tuned to that. But all being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.